Yeah, just another uh, quick video. Um, got the Suburban in the garage, and uh, well, got the transmission out. Here's the it's the four L it's a four L sixty E, one of the early ones, and uh, yeah, it's shot. No third or fourth, and also there's some other thing going on with the rear. Uh, I don't know, the speedometer would read all, read all wonky. I don't really know. Um, but uh, found that uh, no no uh, sign of a rebuild. Or if they did, they didn't put any tags on it. So I have a pretty good feeling that this is actually the original transmission for the truck. It has 335,000 miles on it. Um, but uh, I'll just show you the trans new transmission I just picked up today. So I gotta just, can I get it? it looks about the same length, but it looks different. That is a that is a turbo 350 um, from a 84 Chevy truck. I don't know what it came out of originally though. Uh, but uh, it's the right length. It's got the nine inch uh, tail housing, and it should pretty much bolt right up. Um, shifter and stuff should also work pretty should work fine. Yeah, it should pretty much bolt right up mostly. Um, and uh, even there's a little, there's uh, some sort of uh, things for the original, for the TV cable on the 700R4. Well, this is just a kickdown cable. It's not the, t it doesn't control the throttle valve. That's done through um, vacuum actuation on that vacuum actuator. But pretty much this should just, this cable should just clip right in where a TV cable would have went. Though this is a 4L60E, so uh, um, it didn't have a TV cable, but there's in the little, I don't, you probably can't see it, but in the little, whatchamacallit there, the little bracket, there's a hole for that, and also there's um, there's the extra nub right here for that. So it pretty much should just bolt right up, and I should have kicked down, should kick down through the gears and stuff, but it should be pretty good. Um, but I'll show you a few things. This transmission, to, the guy claimed he drove it, uh, he drove a car, the truck it was in, which was an 84, um, all the way from, uh, from uh, uh, Nevada all the way to here, and he said he had no problems and seemed the ship fine. And I think this has been gone through and maybe rebuilt or something at some point, or I don't know, maybe refreshed. Because, uh, well, you can see RTV right here, kind of at the edges, somebody, and yeah, there's a big piece right there. Somebody's resealed that. The pan is kind of like that too. There's a marking right here. AR probably junk from a junkyard. Um, also, this torque converter do does not look stock. Looks like a newer torque converter. Or it looks like maybe a different, maybe upgraded torque converter. One second, I'm going to pull it out for you real quick. I'm going to show you the coolest thing. Or, well, the kind of that uh, indicates that this has had stuff done to it. Um... That right there, somebody welded that, TIG welded that, see on this side, this thing, somebody cracked the case on this and uh, welded it up, which is very, which is actually pretty interesting, but it actually, I mean, I'm not worried about it, it looks like a really, uh, looks like a pretty good repair, doesn't look like there's any big issues, um, yeah. Um, bit of play in the rear shaft. I think we could replace the rear bushing, but, uh, looks like a pretty good transmission and it should go on. I know I'm going to be losing overdrive, but uh, I feel like it's kind of, uh, I mean, I only paid 150 bucks for this transmission, so I think it'll be fine. Turbo 350s are usually really, really reliable. Um, I'm pretty much just going to put it in as is. I'll do like, I'll, I'll change the filter and, the. Uh, the, in the pan gasket, obviously, maybe the rear thing. And I was also thinking, I mean, I'm going to clean it up, obviously, spray some brake clean down it and clean it up. I was thinking maybe painting it black, and uh, my new job, um, hair racing, we got some stickers there, um, and I found some Gear Star stickers. <laughs> and, like, someone pulls it out, they'll think, oh, it's a Gear Star rebuilt transmission when it, when it really isn't. So I don't know. I mean, that just kind of for shits and giggles. I mean, I kind of want to paint it anyways. Maybe I'll paint it red and put the stickers or black. I don't know. But I think that'd look pretty good on it. Yeah, anyways, uh, I think I'm going to go put the transmission in soon. Engine does run without the transmission in it, um, which is pretty good. Uh, 
you know, it's kind of leaning at that angle, but well, there's nothing I can do about that right now. Um, yeah, that's, uh, that's it for now. Uh, thanks for watching.